Hello and welcome to today's video. So if like me, you love collecting these vintage Badger books and uh, Badger paperbacks from the, the 60s, then you're gonna absolutely love today's video because I have in my possession an early copy of the John Spencer bibliography. So this is volume one of three and it takes a look uh, through every single John Spencer comic and paperback that was published back in, uh, back in the UK in the 1960s. And it's absolutely phenomenal packed with photographs. It's just a collector's dream. So that's what we're going to be having a look at today. So sit back, relax, and let's get to it. Right then, so in previous videos, you have seen me go through my uh, my Badger collection. I absolutely love these uh, these books with their distinctive sort of spines there. Um, a lot of them uh, written by Lionel Fanthorpe under various uh, pseudonyms. And uh, you don't really seem to find them sort of out in the wild anymore. Um, but over my years of being a paperback collector, um, you know, whenever I've come across them, I've sort of picked them up. And I have already done a video a few months back now uh, where I uh, went through pretty much my entire collection of Badger books. And uh, I'll put a link to that one uh, just up on the screen right now. However, um, I was contacted by um, uh, Shane Agnew. Now, Shane has done an amazing research job and has actually written and published the first of what is going to be three guidebooks to the entire John Spencer & Co. Badger Books output. And just look at this cover here, just incredible. Look at the detail in that. So although I've, you know, I had a few of these through my hands, these sort of the, uh, the John Spencer comics, I never really got around to collecting them. Although, you know, they do look really good fun and they do sort of tie into the books. Um, and then just these, from the early pulp ones right up to the, the more familiar paperbacks that I sort of collect, although I've got a couple of the uh, earlier pulps. So this is like an illustrated bibliography. Here's the back cover here. There is Shane there with a tantalizing glimpse of his own collection there, which um, uh, in future volumes, I'd certainly like to see how he displays his collection and what they all look like together. And uh, well, yeah, this is the first edition. As it's just come out, it's a nice sort of large format book. And uh, I think we'll have a good look through this one because if you're into collecting Badger books like I am, you're gonna absolutely love it. So let's dive in then. So obviously I'm not gonna uh, go into the full detail. I'm not, it's not an audio book, it is just a review. Um, and it starts off with like a history of the John Spencer company, how they came about and their sort of early origins, which is fascinating in itself. As you can see throughout the book, it is really well illustrated on every page. Now, this is fascinating, particularly if like me, you can't work out who is who <laughs> so it's got um this is the cover artists and by years this is all the different artists who did uh, various covers for badger and then how many they did for badger during that year so for example henry fox in total drew 122 badger covers and in 1962 he actually drew 30 of them so that gives you an idea of of um the detail on this and he's done a similar thing with the authors so this page here shows you know like um lawrence sandfield for example only wrote four books um and they were a couple in 1952 1953 but then um someone like robert fanthorpe 381 one year he actually wrote 62 books of them in 1963. So that's a sort of level of detail which is in here, absolutely fantastic. He lists all their different pseudonyms as well, which is obviously very, very useful. Now, this I found fantastic because I've been trying to figure this out myself, what some of these like the little series codes meant. So these are the, um, the comics at the top here, so futuristic science stories, science fiction series out of this world, and how many issues were released in them, how many unknown editions. And then underneath, he's got all the um, uh, the publications um, 
and these will be these are different series which will be covered in volumes two and three and these are like the world war series blazing westerns romance non-series which is like crime and gangster stuff foreign legion uh, miscellaneous crime sci-fi glamour spy mystery true crime bengal lancers had four books uh, private eye had three i didn't know about any of these like tiny little series um just fantastic really jungle adventures had one odd odd one a screen series which i, I think i've actually got that one uh, world personality or it might be the world personality i don't really know but fascinating all the same to see these uh, all these series listed so in this first volume then we've got the comics then the science fiction series in particular which includes futuristic sci-fi science fiction sci-fi series science fiction non-series tales of tomorrow worlds of the spaceway series and worlds of fantasy then there's another bit on the supernatural and fantasy series other ones i've actually got quite a bit of then a few other miscellaneous series and then unverified um a bit on non-fiction books as well um and then a checklist of all of these as we go along so these are the uh, comic ones so you can see the format here is really nice so he's got uh, every single comic issued the cover on the left hand side here and then all because each one had like four or five short stories in each short story who it's written by if he knows it who the artist was absolutely fantastic also some of these covers as was practiced back in the day got reused on books and they got reused on comics later on so he goes through it in, in incredible incredible detail and that is uh, just fantastic so if you're a collector of these sadly i've not got any of the comics although when i used to have my comic shop back in the 90s we certainly had a few of these uh, through our hands um, but great great stuff here as you can see and the sort of comics led into the early sort of pulps and like, for example this one there so if you were looking for science fiction series number two it was never issued and that sort of information i didn't know about that so if you were trying to get a run of these together and you were just missing one or two it may well be that it didn't even get published um, and that's the sort of valuable information that this book has got um, as well as being able to look at all the covers so i mean who knows how long it's taken shane to actually pull this information together i'd love to know if he owns all these or if he's had to borrow a, a few cover covers uh, scans from other collectors um look at that one down there fiends that with a giant anton <laughs> another uh, rl fanthorpe special that one that's brilliant aren't they so this is the science fiction series so i do have a few of these in my collection like that one there's a um this is interesting so one of the brain stealers by murray lister that was a reprint of the ace double a 17 ace d79 from 1954 and uh it reused the cover from ace double 413 i've actually got the ace double of that one in my collection so and and as well as the uh, the badger edition so stuff like that i mean how did they get away with pinching the cover um art? i honestly honestly don't know but um it's brilliant there's another favorite of mine there they the the microscopic ones always reminds me of land of the giants so leo brett which is obviously uh lionel fanthorpe again another one i've, I've got i absolutely love that one um just the, the loads here i've never ever seen before and they're just fantastic uh really really good there's another one i am still after um so if anyone's got a copy rodent mutation with the giant rat there i'm still after that particular one that's uh, one I particularly would like. And as you can see, you go through here, there's stacks for you to get your teeth into. There's also a little collective box set, so you can just tick it. So if you've got it, you can go through the book and use this as a visual checklist for your Badger collection. Um, chances are, with such a great guide like this, um, this is going to make the Badger books even harder to get hold of. But um, as I said, they are still out there in the world, but you need, uh, you need to get lucky and... Uh, find a little batch i don't think i've ever found more than two in like a little if i found a batch of old books there might be one or two badges in there i've never found like a little collection of like 10 or something like that they just don't seem to turn up like that it's just odd books here and there and um, the same on ebay and um the prices have crept up a little bit on ebay these days um so this is the tales of tomorrow series then into um science fiction worlds of the spaceways just nice clearly broken down here worlds of fantasy 
This is the Supernatural fantasy series. I think these are really great, but I prefer the sci-fi ones. But these definitely have their charm. And these are like the early sort of pulpy, slightly larger ones before they go into um, uh, the, uh, the more familiar paperback format. As you can see, there's hundreds, and we're not even halfway through the book yet, and there's hundreds of illustrations. It's just, if you're into collecting these books, you're going to just pour over every single page of this because it's just fantastic. Um, I'm certainly looking forward to pulling all my books out again and going through, and uh, I'm definitely looking forward to the next couple of volumes as well, just to see the sort of more obscure, sort of offbeat ones, like the World War ones I really like, and the Spy ones, uh, just fantastic. There's another one I recognise, the Macabre ones. Uh, just great, absolutely great. Shane has done a really, really good job here. There's another one, see, number 108. I didn't know that was not issued. We shouldn't be surprised. Now look at these, look, these are unverified. So these are ones where he's gonna need fans help, I guess, to uh, to uh, identify these, so you never know. Then these are their, some of their non-fiction books. So these are like science fact rather than science fiction. These, uh, these ones here, this science series. Then at the back here, there's another um, A to Z checklist of all the titles and authors. So yeah, really, really good stuff. I would heartily recommend this. So there you go, right the way. I mean, it's the detail. It is a scholarly work, shall we say, an absolutely scholarly work. Now, uh, Shane has also worked with Guy N. Smith and he's done an illustrated bibliography of him. So if you like his, uh, I, I certainly remember his uh, some of his early horror stuff and absolutely loving it when I was growing up. And that's a whole book um, just on the works of Guy, Guy N. Smith. So do look for that one as well. Now, if you fancy getting your hands on one of these, I will put a direct link for you to pick a, up a copy off Amazon in the description down below. And I heartily, heartily recommend it. Let's show our support for Shane and um, get your own copy of this. Um, believe me, I should be pre-ordering volumes two and three as soon as they get published because they are absolutely fantastic. What an amazing book. And uh, Shane, you deserve a very big pat on the back for, for pulling that together. It's fantastic. I would just like to see in the next one a few pictures of your collection. Let's just see what it looks like because uh, I love pictures of people's collections. Anyway, there we go. So that's it for today. I hope you have enjoyed that look through this uh, fantastic book. If you have, do please give it a thumbs up. Do consider subscribing for regular vintage paperback content. And I shall look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye. Bye.